We'll have a look back at some of the finer points in this matchup at Amadou Gunkulibali Stadium. Would be heavily stuck against them in terms of pedigree. And wasted no time getting stuck in, trying to probe their game. A quick check over the goal area by Mali with a very fast probe. Not yielding anything, and in the end, just uh, pushed away there by the man that eventually is named the man of the match. Madhu Haidara, in that instance there, a fear for South Africa as it nearly looked like it would be a penalty. The referee making his decision well enough and it turned out to be a free kick for Mali. This is in the second half. And, uh, he managed to get that set piece, walked in there, hit the crossbar, and in the end, it was stabbed home by the captain, Haidara to give the lead here to Mali Football Club, rather is that to Mali's national team, the Eagles. Brilliant free kick. Goalkeeper doing just enough to put it away. But the defence, a little slow to react, and handing the initiative to the very agile captain, who put it into the back of the net, and made sure that Mali were in the lead. South Africa looked to find a way back in here with an attempt, but it was from distance and just whistled away harmlessly over the bar. And at this point, it was a question of whether they can bounce right back, level the tie, and attempt to make matters even once again on the footing. The immortal Zwena attempting to do all he could in there. But it was the folly of playing from the back and through the middle that eventually come, came to cost them. And a nice swift turn in there, allowing Mali to probe in their second goal. And from here out, South Africa had the stuffing knocked out of them. And it was all going to be one-way traffic. Scintillating body balance here coming in from uh, is Lassine Sinayoko. He just managed to stay on his feet and coolly slot that between the feet of Williams to the back of the net. Ultimately, final whistle and not much for South Africa to write home about.